Hello everyone and welcome back to day three of the Lammy Vlogs. So today, yeah, there's no plans is there? It's not like a normal video. But as you can probably see, I have got some bottled milk, which obviously means through the night I've been feeding that cesarean lamb. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna check in to see how that lamb is getting on as well as everything else. And obviously we're gonna catch up and start another day of lambing on the farm. Don't forget a like and subscribe guys and once again I hope you enjoy. Right, into the lambing shed we go. We'll have a little check round to see if there is anything lambing as we go. Doesn't look like it, so in the singles and triplets, I've obviously been down here through the night as this lamb that's the cesarean has had to be bottle fed every few hours. He's, he's lively, but he's not quite good on his legs. So yeah, getting to the tee is a bit hard. He looks a bit sleepy there, but as soon as you get him up, He's all right on a bottle, so we'll do that. We'll give him a little bit of a feed, and then we'll go and check out the little surprise we had in the night. All right, little one, you gonna have a suckle for me? Hello, hello. All we need you to do is get walking. All right, let's fill that belly up. Good boy. Good boy. All right. We'll pop you back down and I'll come back in a couple of hours. To be fair to you, you have a nice full belly. Well, full enough belly for now. Belly's fairly full, as you can see down there, but he's not the liveliest of lamb. He can get up, he can stand, but I haven't seen him actually suckle from his mum yet. She's got milk, so that is all okay. Not sure if he's a bit premature being come out the side door that might have been the explanation where all the blood and stuff come out might have had a knock we don't know so just keep feeding him and fingers crossed he perks up a little bit and gets a bit more on his feet and walks a bit better but yes as I was on about before we had a little bit of a surprise well it wasn't in the night it's about an hour and a half ago we have had another single born so if I jump over here we'll go the quick route we come in here We've had a pedigree clin born. So this is a shearling and had a nice single. Haven't you, mummy? She's a bit loopy because she's shearling. Down there, fresh born lamb. Only problem is the U is one quartered. So it's not a huge problem because it's a single, but it feels a bit warm and hard on the quarter that's not milking. So that kind of signs towards mastitis. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna give her a jab of antibiotics and metacam to try and bring the swelling down. She's got plenty of milk on the other quarter, so that should be all okay. Um, I might just tube that lamb though. We'll see. It's been alive an hour, an hour and a half. Just need it to get up and have a suck from its mum really. So what I've got here, we've got metacam, which is anti-inflammatory and a painkiller. So this should take the swelling down on the bag as well as Trimox, which is an amoxicillin. So basically this is an antibiotic, which would kill any bad stuff in that bag. I'll just show you the bag to give you an idea. She's a bit um, feisty, so hopefully she lets me touch her bag. If I go like this, you can see hopefully, this side, obviously it's a bit manky. That side there's hard, and it's that one's a lot softer. So that's a sign towards infection. And obviously there's no milk coming out too. So yeah, I'm just gonna give her those and hope that she'll sort it out. It might just be blind, but when it feels warm and hard, that normally means mastitis. So that's one thing I've learned over the last few years. If there is anything that's suspect to mastitis, treat it. I know I'm one of those people that's like, I don't want to cause antibiotic resistance, but at the end of the day, if that used bag is damaged, it means it's not going to work for the rest of life and that lamb is going to suffer. So it's one of them. 
um, I think it's worth the risk, especially with the symptoms that she's showing. And also, just while I remember, we've got to put those medicines onto the flock watch app. So what we're doing, we're recording all the medicines that we use at lambing time. So if we do have a problem with a medicine going forward, we can just go back on the app and see what the problem is, as well as it's really good to record the use to know exactly which use have problems this year, so we know going forward what to expect. Like everything, just click the orange button on the Flockwatch app, just like this. Then we go to sheep treatment, then we're going to sheep treatment with tags. Then we go on to what she's had, which is Metacam, which is there. So we go, is there another one? Oh, we might have to just add Trimox. Right, I'm back, and basically, yeah, we where were we at? We just put Metacam on and then we also have put Trimox on. So we go next after that, and we choose the day it was administered, which is today. It's obviously administered by myself. Uh, dose per animal, so this is the Metacam. She had three mil of Metacam, and that is fairly simple. We then go to treatment reason, so then we're gonna put mastitis. Just like that. Next, continue. There we go. And now we are on to Trimox, which is exactly the same, but she has 6.5 mil because I reckon she's about a 65 kilo U. It's kind of a guessing game. We go next, continue, and really simple. All we do now is scan her with my True Test stick reader. Then, as you see on the app, that tag has saved come up, so animal selected, we can see it's number 819, which is Sherlin. Save. Do, do, do. Right, so that's that medicine added onto her history. So going forward, we know exactly what she's had. Into the twins we go. We have not had any of these lamb yet, but I think as soon as one pops, a lot of them are gonna go, because they all fairly similar stage. We did have a day where about 50, 60 were tucked in a day. The first four days, I think we had 18, so I'm expecting a quiet start, if I'm honest, but as soon as one goes, it's gonna be mental. Thankfully, next week, I have help from Soph, Soph's mum and mum, and we have a chap helping us on weekends. We got plenty of staff on for that crazy week next week, because that's my prediction. Next week is gonna be the crazy one. All right, lamb, you got a full belly? Oh, you've got a full belly. Look at that, mate. You've got a full belly across from there. He's an absolute gannet. Away from the singles, on to the C-section. As you can see, no lamb. Unfortunately, lamb is currently in the house getting warmed up, so I'm just going to set a lamp up. Because what seems to happen, lamb comes in, he's fine, and then he's going to get too cold, but just a bit lethargic, take him in the house, and then he's running loops around the place. So I'm just going to put a lamp in here, so a heat lamp to keep him warm, which should solve that problem. He is suckling off a bottle, so we just need to kind of teach her how to get to the tea. Don't we, girl? It's going to be sorted. It's going to be sorted. It's going to be sorted. Well, it didn't take long to get ID in hands, did it? That'll do. Got ya. Feels about right? Yeah, that's perfect. Let's see if that warms you up, eh? Like that. There you go. Super excited, we have our first twin lambing down here, another shearling, which seems to be the ones popping them out to start with. Oh, can you just see her bags out if I flip round? Can you just see those legs popping out? So I'm just gonna leave her to it, we'll give her half an hour and then we'll come back and give her a check. Never want to intervene quicker than you need to, but give her plenty of time to do it herself and if it doesn't, we'll get them out all safe and sound. Skip forward half an hour. Let's see if we can find this here. I think I can see. I'm trying to be quite quiet because I don't want us. Oh, we have a lamb on the floor. We have got a lamb running around. So that is a great sign. Just down there, already up. That is the you that's lambing. And there's also one coming there. What I might do is just pull that lamb out. Hello, girl. 
Well done. Are you clever? Clever lady. You're not very black for an ABBA black. You've got black on you at least. I can tell you got some super on you. Come on. Right, we'll get these ladies moved. This girl is a really good mum, so she should follow all right, hopefully. This is that you that is desperate to lick those lambs. She is definitely not too far away. What you'll find is if a you is trying to lick a lambs for another you, she won't be very far off from lambing herself. The clins are so maternal, so they try and steal each other's lambs. One of the most important jobs, doing the lambs navel. So we're doing this to get the navel to dry up because that navel is the easiest place for bacteria or any bad bugs to enter the body. So you want that to dry up. So just do that on both the lambs, on any lamb in fact. And leave them all. We got one top and one ewe lamb. And for those of you that don't understand what I was saying when I said an Abba Black, basically the Abba Black is a top we use on our crossing use this year. So the bee flock, we put an Abba Black top on all them. And what it is basically is an innervous breed that's a hybrid of a Suffolk and Charolais and then stabilized and then performance recorded for the best possible lambs. That strenuous exercise. We'll leave her now to mother those up and come and check in a short while. Well, these days are absolutely flying by, aren't they? We haven't even started properly lambing. I do have a feeling that tomorrow is going to be a busy day. Once they start, they generally pick up, pick up, pick up, go mad, then go dead. So, yeah, how are these twins looking? We just need to chuck them a bale of haylage before we finish for the day, and they're all going to get the corn. But doesn't look like anything else in here is lambing. Dad has also been and sorted us out some buckets, haven't you? As someone, aka my brother, has stolen loads for mechanic work. Hopefully he doesn't watch this video. <laughs> It's the absolutely best time of day to go and check the used sip if it's slamming. The heads are all in the feed face, eating away, and you can see every single back end, which is spot on. So if you just look around here, all I'm doing, wandering around, checking all the back ends, but for anything that's untoward, or anything that might be lambing. So just going around, look at some of these bags too. Some of these are going to drop fairly soon. I am out of breath after doing that. Let's finish off by checking these singles, as these are the ones that have been lambing, although they're not the ones I expected to lamb first. Any of you? Obviously, the singles only get fed once a day. The twins and triplets twice a day, that's why they haven't been fed just. They're on 350 grams a day. The twins are on 700 grams a day, and the triplets are on 900 grams a day. We are all clear. I have come and checked these already, but I forgot to bring the camera, so I do know they're all okay. <laughs> and one cool thing too, if you haven't noticed, this lamb here, it's got a teardrop tattoo. I'm just gonna check the bag on this shoe. If you remember, I gave her an injection. That is warm. I'm glad I gave her injection earlier. If you look now, I don't know how well you'll see, but this side of the bag is huge <laughs> compared to this side. So I'm definitely glad I gave her some antibiotics and metacam. Earlier, so hopefully that works and it should be all firing next couple of days. Single, I said, okay. And then this young fella is a work in progress. So he's there chilling by his mum. Heat lamp in progress. Obviously, doesn't want to lie under the heat lamp because he's a sheep. But yeah, I think yours is going to be a story to follow. So we'll leave these now. We'll do one more check later, probably about an hour's time because. 
anything could die. As I said, it's more likely to land then. Well, guys, unfortunately, I've been holding out for another lambing to take place. It's about quarter to 11 at night, and unfortunately, we have had no more lambs and no real change of circumstances. Um, the little Caesar lamb, he is up just trying to suckle at the moment, so that's a great sign. You have just burnt herself on the heat lamp, so just need to watch that. Luckily, wool doesn't burn too well. And all the little lambies in the pens have full bellies, full of colostrum, so that is a great sign. And I'm gonna leave you like that, guys. So, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel, and once again, guys, massive thank you for watching. And again, thank you to all the sponsors for your support too. See you in the morning.